Jennings, do you want to come see the other babies? Come on, let's go look. Come here. You got to come on. We'll go look at the babies. We have new babies. Come on, you want to go look at the babies? Yeah. We have new babies. You know what they are? What? You don't know? Yeah. Let's go look. Okay. See the new babies? What babies? Well, let's go look. There they are. They are the other two little lambs. It looks like she just had them. So I'm actually, I, as much as I want to go in and see what they are because she just had them, we want to make sure that she's going to take those babies. So I'm definitely not going to go in there and mess with them, touch them or anything like that, put my scent on them or anything. Um, I want them to nurse. So I want to see them up and nursing. And then once I know that the mama has accepted the babies, I'll go in and see what they are. But we did decide on names for this mama and her two babies laying down right here. The ones that are closest to us and that we chose Candy and Cupid. So thank y'all for all the names. I went strictly off of some of the suggestions that you guys left in the comment. And we loved Candy and Cupid. So Candy and Cupid together is what we decided to name those twins. And once we find out what the other babies are, we'll be able to name them. But big surprise y'all i was really thinking that she was only gonna have one by the look of her stomach i thought there's no way she's gonna have twins but she is surprised just with twins one of them is up one of them is still sitting down mom has not even passed the afterbirth yet so we're just gonna kind of keep a close eye on her she's up and she still looks like she's doing okay so i'll be down here checking on her another time or two before the sun goes down just to make sure that the babies do okay we do not want to buy feed lambs so we need them to take and take well and i think she might be a first time mom if she's not this is only her second delivery everything looks good so far but we're like i said we're just going to keep a really close eye on them and very exciting that we have four little lambs right here before easter born on the farm all right y'all see what mama's doing mama is I believe rejecting the baby, she keeps headbutting it away. So I think we're going to have a problem. Okay, y'all, I have some. We've never had this on our farm. All of our mamas usually have done really, really great. I don't think this mama's going to take this baby. Yeah, you know, I said that earlier just out of thinking it, but I have watched her headbutt this baby over and over and over which means we're going to be bottle feeding this baby now um we really don't have a, a sheep run where we can take the sheep and put her in there and um let the baby take and that would really put off that smell so we're i'm not we're not really able to do that and i can't manhandle her colby's at work today so really our only other option right now is to just take the baby and um and bottle feed it y'all watch what she does so the one that's close to her is the one that she keeps licking and cleaning up the one that's over in front of her if y'all watch her that's the one she keeps headbutting No, she's licking the one, this one right here. But see, she keeps headbutting that one. And unfortunately, we've never had a mama do this before. We've never had a mama here on our farm actually reject the baby. But I know that's something that's common. It just happens sometimes. And for whatever reason, so i know one's a little boy the one that she's cleaning up looks like a little boy but it's it looks like she's not taking the little girl so i'll keep y'all posted on where we're at i'm just out here right now just kind of watching may thinking maybe the Mama will settle down. He's bumping her. He was bumping her bag just now. Uh, see her. See what she did. Yeah, she's not going to take that baby. 
as much as I want her to, she's not going to take that baby, y'all. I'm going to have to take the baby. Um, Aiden is supposed to have another little pink pool, kind of like what the puppies are in. I'm going to have to um, take that little pink pool and bring this baby inside. I've already called Colby. He's in town right now, and I've already told him we're more than likely going to... Um, having to be bottle feeding a, a baby so he is running to get a small bottle so that we can get this one fed and as much as much as that baby keeps going towards its mama she is just not letting that baby get under her all right y'all this is what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go get that boy that she's taken i'm gonna rub some paper towels all over it and get the scent then i'm gonna rub the little girl down and see i'm gonna stay out here for a little bit longer and see maybe if the mama will take the twin. Well, y'all see, obviously that did not work. I left her out there for a while and she still headbutted her baby. She's just refusing this baby. She's not gonna take it, so we're taking the baby home. Lamb is inside and I have some stuff that I'm gonna give her for Lamb and Kid costume replacer. Before we do, I have Lamb milk replacer here. So the bottle baby is inside and she's about to get her very first bottle with us. There you go. There you go, girl. You just needed that end off, didn't you? Damn, I was starving. <laughs> she was hungry, though. Harley's going to get up and feed her tonight. That's a joke. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. <laughs> We used to have a bottle holder, but I don't know where it's at. You want some more? Oh, yeah, you do. I got milk all on my shirt. They want some. No lighting is terrible. the babies do with the little lamb I know one thing Juliet I don't know what I'm gonna do because Juliet's still nursing them I guess I'll have to get the lamb out I guess that's what I'll do I'll get the lamb out when I bring Juliet in she's had a bath She's had a bottle, bath and a bottle. She took a short nap. And now she is just acting like she's part of the family already. So you see her wagging her tail. She's real happy walking around exploring. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So this could work out to be a good thing since the mama wouldn't take her. She's going to be really used to us. She's going to be really easy to handle and deal with. And I guess if I decided to ever milk her, I mean, I suppose I could because she's gonna be very used to us. She already thinks that I'm her mama. And I have many, many, many more days ahead of bottle feeding her. So she's already making herself right at home and seems happy. She went under the table for some reason. So even though her mama didn't take her, she's still going to be fine. She's beautiful 
and I have a couple of people already asking me if they can rent her for Easter pictures, but maybe that we can make some extra money off of her just by renting her to help us pay for the feed. We're gonna have to bottle feed her. And like I said, she's gonna be super used to us, so you know, this may actually work out to be a really good thing. Well, that is not <laughs> what I actually had in, in mind to do today. I actually needed to get some elderberry up and get them in their own pot and i also needed to get some mint split because when we go to the oaky homesteading expo i also want to take some live plants and to put in my vendor's booth so i was going to work on that today when i decided i would go check on the new babies because aiden had called me and said mama the other sheep has had the babies they're on the ground and i went up there to check on them just put my eyes on them and that's when i realized Stayed up there a few minutes just checking on them. When I saw her headbutt one, I thought, why is she headbutting her baby? So I stayed up there for a little bit longer and she just kept pushing her baby off and I thought, she's not gonna take her baby. So that's when I got the paper towel. So I actually called a local friend of mine that has a bunch of goats and said, should I just go ahead and take this baby now or should I give her another chance? She said, take the paper towels. I've, I have seen people do this before. Rub the female, I mean, rub the male down that the mama had took and rub the female down. So I did that and I put her back with her mama a couple of times, just right under her mama. The mama immediately kept backing up, doing everything she could to get away from the baby and headbutting the baby down. The last time she headbutted him, she, the last time the mama headbutted her so hard, I thought she's gonna end up hurting her and even worth it. That's why I went ahead and brought the little lamb in. We are gonna name her Miracle because it is just a miracle that I happened to go down there and immediately noticed the mama rejecting the baby before it was too late for the baby. So we named her Miracle that we were able to save her. Totally all done in the greenhouse. I have mints, spearmint, peppermint, apple mint, centronella a couple of times and a whole lot of elderberry that I have gotten potted. You can see that my hands are still very nasty, but it is all done. I'm glad it's done. The greenhouse is totally watered. I have to leave the heaters on because it's getting really cold at night. And you can see that I have a new door because my last one got blown off in a storm and we walked out here one day and found it laying on the ground and we're still having some super cold nights. So new door we had to have and we're calling it a day in the greenhouse we're gonna go inside i'm making some homemade chicken alfredo so i have to get the family fed before the night's over with I think the puppies are loving the little lamb. I'm not sure if the little lamb is loving the puppies, but that sure was cute to watch. Hope y'all enjoyed tagging along with me today. As always, God bless and happy homesteading y'all.